Hey, welcome back to Diode Press. I'm Graham. I've been wanting to make my own set of printmaking tools for a really long time. But I don't have the facilities for the metalworking portion, but I figured that shouldn't stop me from making the custom handles for the tools that I already have, so that way they fit my hand perfectly. So let's get right into it. I've had this set of tools from various manufacturers for many years, and I'm really happy with the metal bits, but the handles are too small and really not my favorite thing to look at. For the wood, I'm using Bolivian Rosewood pen blanks that I bought from Rockler Woodworking. I'm restricted in the size of the handles I can make since the pen blanks are so small. So I create a way to hold them securely when I milled them out, but also I need a way to reliably flip them since I don't have a lathe to turn them on. My solution is gonna to be to 3D print this jig. It has dowel pins, which are used for reliable registration and a small cap that screws down to clamp it in place. Once the first side's done, I can just unscrew, flip, and then do the other side. This is the first prototype and also a test handle to see how I like the shape. And I realized if I'm gonna be printing a jig, I might as well incorporate the hold downs to keep it on the machine so a few tweaks and then I made a new print. I'm using Tough PLA from Matter Hackers and some heat set threaded inserts, making it a really strong and long lasting jig, I hope. Now that we're all set up on the machine, it's time to machine the holes in the wood blanks. I set up a first operation station over on the right where I could run the same code on all of my blanks to make the holes for the dowel pins. Then it's just a matter of unclamping and setting them up on the main jig on the left. I used an eighth inch end mill to rough off as much material as I could using a tool path from Fusion 360. And then next I ran a parallel tool path in two different directions to get a smooth finish. And here you can see the first half machined a hair past the center line of the part, just so I wouldn't have a big seam line. While this half's machining, make sure to check out the Diode Press Patreon page in the description after the video if you want to help support the channel. And also make sure to subscribe to keep up with the projects as they get published. And thanks so much for being part of the channel. All done and ready for the next step. I made two different size handles for different tools, so the footage kind of jumps between the two since the steps are relatively the same. I'm using brass tubing for the ferrules and a handy pipe cutter to give a nice clean edge. And then I used a Dremel cutoff wheel to cut the tools off the length that I needed. The tools I'm scavenging are steel, so a good clamp with pliers and the handle broke off the old wood bits without any trouble. a little bit of epoxy to secure the metal, and some tape to protect the wood while it all dries. For drilling holes in the smaller tools, I 3D printed a guide. The inside's the exact shape of the tool handle, 
and then there's a hole centered in the end of it. And here we go from 3D printed prototype to a finished handle. The final piece to wrap up is going to be to make a custom tray to hold the new tools. I think this wood is cherry, and as you can see it's definitely a tight fit to get them all fit on there. I'm using a quarter inch two flute end mill to rough out the shape, and then I'm switching to an eighth inch end mill to clean it all up. A little test fit and then it's on to the final step of adding some felt padding to protect it all and some standoffs to make a small plate holder underneath. And here we have the final project, a sharpening stone, a combination burnisher and dry point needle tool, a diamond tip tool, small burnisher, and two sizes of scrapers. Thanks so much for sticking through to the end. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks!